Hello, I'm Jason Matthews, owner of Matthews Painting Company near Warsaw, Indiana. We continue our tutorial videos that we show all of our new employees who we train to become professional painters. This will be part one of two, and today we're going to discuss safety equipment for when we're around chemicals or dust. We're going to start over here on this side. Many call this a N95 respirator. They come in a box like this and they're just cloth and they have a valve here that your breath comes out. We usually only use these for dusty conditions. These are not for fumes or solvents. This will not protect your brain from those chemicals. This is just for dusty conditions. It does go on pretty easily. I'll do that real quickly. You put both straps over your neck, bring one strap up above your head, one's on the neck, and you just pinch the little, pinch the little nose piece there so it's a little bit tight and that helps you in dusty conditions. It can also help outside if someone has pretty bad allergies. Sometimes you'll see someone mowing with these. But again, we do not use these when there's a solvent or an oil-based finish and that's usually um, where we get into some other respirators we're gonna discuss. This respirator and these other little filters and cartridges here work with this respirator over here. I call these respirators, but they're, they're filters, cartridges. And so this pink one comes in a couple different packages. These are all the same. And how we remember what pink is, is pink is kind of like red. Red is for lead. Think about that, red lead. And so this is for lead dust. This can protect you from lead dust. Also pink particulate. What's a particle? Particle is a piece of dust, right? So this can also work a lot like this one, but this does not protect you against lead dust. Red is lead or peak particulate particles. Again, these are cloth and they do not protect your brain from solvents, chemicals, or oil-based paints. And so again, these two here would not want to be used for that. We'll show in a second video how everything on this side of me here will attach to this respirator so you can watch that next. Right here we have a particulate filter as well and on one side of these it says mask side. This is an area here that snaps onto these organic filters and the mask side is going to be this way here. So that wording is going to be on this side, not the back side where there's just a little hole because this is going to snap onto this cartridge when it goes and screws onto this mask. Okay, so you might say, well, what is that for? Why would these go onto these and why all these different filters? This would only really need to be used when you're spray painting an oil based paint. Some people will use it for spray painting latex paints, but it really just keeps these cartridges, which we refer to as our organic vapor cartridges. These are the ones that protect the brain. Okay, and we're gonna show you this in a minute. These are the ones that actually protect you against solvents like lacquer thinner, naphtha, xylene, you know, denatured alcohol. This is what you'd wanna be wearing. You'd also wanna be wearing this <clears throat> when you're working with semi-transparent oil-based stains or oil-based paints. And if you're just working with it with a roller and brush, you would not need this little pre-filter. But if you're spraying it outside like we do a lot of times, this is going to keep these filters from getting clogged. And we'll show you how that all assembles and snaps in on the next video. Next, many of our people, again, wear these organic cartridges with solvents and they come in a box like this. So we just explained that a little bit. And then this is just a spray sock. That does nothing in the sense of protection other than it keeps you a little bit cleaner. And so many times when we're spraying outside, some people spray inside, that just fits over your head and some will put goggles on. It kind of just pr protects your hair and your skin and your face and your neck from overspray. And then this is the actual respirator. So even though some of these are called respirators as well, this is the respirator where the organic cartridge and the lead or particulate uh, filter there screw into. And so we'll show that on the next video. And then we'll also show actually how we clean those. If you liked what you saw, even though I fumbled over my words some, uh, you could like this YouTube page 
or you can contact us at matthewspainting.com.